back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'm joined, as always, by our Esper Finding Squad of Glenn, Elvis, Luke, and Lymia. We did get a full heal since we last left off here with these things that we assume our Espers will... They clearly are, but we don't know that for sure yet. Uh, here is a save point. That's where I did get that full heal. I have changed the party around just a bit. Glenn is back on the trident, which kind of sucks, but hey, it doesn't have any elements on it, which is what I'm looking for. Elvis, the fire knuckle really does not matter that he has that equipped. Blizzard on Luke. Thunder still on Lime She doesn't really attack anyone. Uh, Atlas Armlet and Wall Ring for Glenn. Wall Ring's all around, just for the record. Uh, but Atlas Armlet for Glenn, Hero Ring for Elvis, Sneak Ring for Luke, and Ribbon for Alignia. Those Wall Rings are uh, relatively important. You could probably do it without it if you needed to, but it's a lot easier if you get them. We have a blue thing here and kind of an orange tannish thing over there. The blue thing does not want to talk. Of course, uh, you probably know their names, but we're gonna pretend like we don't and talk to this one. That that hurt, douche. And it is boss time. We're up against Ifrit, who is now green for whatever reason. Uh, now, unfortunately, Ifrit is going to make things uh, rather difficult for me. I should be able to get the ice off on him. I don't think Chainsaw ever hit, so we're gonna go for Drill. And uh, Luke has the Blizzard Sword on so that he can attack. Unfortunately, Ifrit uh, loves to use, sorry, Ifrit, Ifrit, I never know how to say his freaking name. He loves to use uh, Fire Magic, and it'll bounce right off of us and heal him, but that's really better than it uh, doing damage to us at this point. And he has gone away, and I have cast ice on Shiva, which is not a good thing. If you don't recognize Shiva, that is Shiva. Who the hell is it? Flamesaber. Okay. Now you can fight. God, that took way too long. I should have weight on. I probably should change that. And now that it's Shiva, we do actually have a new blitz that we could use, and that, of course, is going to be Fire Dance. So just go ahead and Nice, we got the spell off. You go ahead and use Runic, you don't really have anything else to do. And yeah, you just keep on attacking and hopefully uh, you can... Actually, we might be able to finish Shiva off here with the Fire Dance. I think we have done a good amount of damage. Almost. Drill might do it here, Drill might do it. I, I keep on thinking that might... There we go, that is the end of the battle actually. Who are you? I sense the kindred spirit. You have Rama's power? Wait, where? Espers! Like, this is a shock to anybody at this point. I think we all realized they were Espers. <laughs> well, Rama did entrust them with his power. I'm not doing an epic enough voice for these two. You know, let's, let's talk to Ifrit. Gestal has grabbed our friends and is trying to drain them of their power. I, too, suffered my turn in one of the glass tombs. Seriously? Fucking Flan's ruining everything. Alright, let's head over here and talk to Shiva. They drained our powers, then threw us away, too. We haven't long to live. We will follow Rama's lead and give to you our power. Our friends are all gone. We haven't much time left. No choice but to entrust you with our essences. And we can pick up the Magicite Shiva, which you do actually need to pick up if you want to go through this door and leave. Now you can actually go through this door and leave right now. I really would not recommend that. There is no point to not picking up the Magicite Ifrit. Now I believe that I can just go ahead and equip the no, it, it takes the place. Okay, so we'll at least take a look at Ifrit and Shiva. Uh, fire, fire two, and drain on Ifrit with strength plus one. As opposed to Rama, that gives us stamina plus one. I might actually just go ahead and switch here. Strength, you, you do need your strength. Uh, wow, okay. Ice, ice two, rasp, osmos, and cure on Shiva but no plus to anything skills. Uh, because... 
I, I really don't like changing things around too much. I will consider it. I will go back and I'll re-equip everybody and I will save and I'll let you know what I decide when it comes to the espers. Oh, uh, healed, re-equipped. Uh, so we're pretty much back on the same things that we were. Glenn has the blizzard instead of the fire. I don't think it really matters. Luke's on the thief knife. Everybody else is the same. Relics are just real quick. I'll go through these. Pretty much what I had before, more or less. When it comes to the espers, though, that's where I've changed. Uh, I have put Shiva on to Glenn, pretty much so that he can learn ice more than anything else. Just a pretty basic attack spell, just in case I should need that. Siren on Elvis. I forgot to for a second there. Um, pretty much for the HP plus 10% on level up. That's that's the main reason for that. He's already got a ton of HP, but he could always use more, especially since I might have to move him to the front row eventually. Ifrit on Luke here, so that he can get the strength plus one. He already knows fire, might as well learn fire too. And uh, still Kirin for, for Lymia here, unfortunately. She still needs 18 more points in order to get to Cure two, uh, which I would really like her to have. And then I'll probably move her over to Shiva so that she can learn uh, Osmos which pretty much means that I'll never have to try to heal, or sorry, uh, use uh, ethers or anything like that again once I can get Osmos, but that might take a little bit. We are now ready to move on. That's, you know, this is clearly not... Oh. <laughs> Screw your earrings. I need sprint shoes. So what? I'm like, there's something that I'm forgetting here. Sprint shoes it is. Let's continue on. You could use the crane here. I would not suggest it. Let's just move on past it. Now, I happen to be lucky. I have a party that is full of level 19s. Not that it's important for this fight, which is new. Once again, these are uh, generals. I, I think they just have uh, regular attacks here. Uh, they tend to cast... Yeah, they, they poison you. Let's go ahead and do our multi-targeting spells against them. Well, not necessarily spells, but attacks. Not that it really matters, because one of them died anyway. Go fire dance! Probably a single attack. Single target would have been fine against them. They're not that tough, the generals. Uh, two magic points for them, though. That is always appreciated. I still need, like, 15 more in order to move Lamia over to Shiva, which is probably what I really am looking forward to right now. Do we have more new enemies? No. Let's just continue going up the stairs. It doesn't look like the right spot when I go up the stairs there. And let's head out the top of the stairs here, and we have made it to the Magitech Research Facility. And here are the glass tubes that Ifrit was talking about. I do believe that all the espers that we have encountered thus far, except for Rom, of course, are supposed to be represented here in the glass tube. So Ifrit, Shiva, Kirin, Stray, and Siren. Wow, I remembered all five. Uh, they would have gone in these tubes here, but since they were kind of cast out, uh, that's why these tubes are empty. That's the assumption I'm making. And there's a secret passage here with enemies. There's the gobblers and the rhinoxes. Well, just the one rhinox, and I did the freaking wrong one. That's fine, though. That's fine. Everything around here is pretty weak, if I remember correctly. Down goes the rhinox. I believe the gobblers here have level spells, so you're going to want to get rid of them if you can. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of a lot of different things. But the, either way, there are level spells that are encountered here. Maybe not by the gobblers, like I thought, but you can find them here. Level 3s, level 4s, and level 5s. I think it's Muddle, Flare, and Death, uh, respectively. Um, you'll want to avoid those, so luckily I'm level 19, which avoids every single one of them because it's a prime number. If I point up from here and hit the button, we can find a break blade and a secret chest there. I'm going to go ahead and put that on Glenn, even though it puts his magic power down by 2, his battle power is up by, by 8, which is always nice. Uh, and considering what he does, uh, that's probably going to be best for me. Let's go ahead and head into the next room. 
and here we find somebody blocking our path. Just as a precaution, I probably probably won't won't need this at all, but we're gonna just do it just in case. We're gonna cast field on everybody. Once again, I don't think I need to, uh, but just in case I have done that. And I got into a fight right here. With float still on everybody, let's go up here and try to talk to that guy. But it's boss time. Up, we're up against number 024 here. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but let's just go ahead and use our best single targeting stuff against him. Now, you can use Runic this early. It's probably not going to be that uh, useful this early, but it's kind of good to get in the habit just in case. We're going to keep on going for Aura Bolt and Drill. Chainsaw has a tendency to miss these days, so I'm just going to stick with Drill and Aura Bolt again. Trying to steal again, but I don't think he has anything more. I did get a Rune Edge from him, which is relatively nice, but uh, that's not necessarily what I would want from him does have a better sword on him, but it's rare, so you're not always going to get it. Uh, what is that thing? I have here. Oh, wow. Down he goes. He has a drainer, which you can't get from him. He's not that difficult. Uh, so I didn't even really need to cast Float. Uh, fine, I'll talk about what he does after the fight's over. Four more magic points, we learn Mute, and we get a Flame Saber from him. Very, very nice. I will take that. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to change my party around just a little bit. I mean, it is in the front, and I do need to get into another battle here in this room before moving forward. It's kind of important. Not exactly sure why, but uh, we'll go ahead and take care of that. Uh, the boss, though, number 024, before I get into this fight, uh, he has a move. If He'll attack for 30 seconds after that. He does a move called Wall Change, and then based on his... Uh, which changes his... Weakness, I, I guess I should say. Uh, so he'll have like a, he'll change to a fire weakness, and when he has a fire weakness, he'll start casting ice spells. He has a tendency uh, to go for ground, which will make him weak to wind. And then when he has that ground, he uses magnitude eight, which can wipe out your party if you don't have float, which was the reason for float, which I never got to use because I killed him too damn fast. Now let me get into a fight, and I'll meet you once that is done. With that done, and actually all of this skills from Kieran learned, we are ready to move on up into the next room. Uh, I will spoil that there aren't going to be any battles here, which is why I don't need to change the espers around just now. We do have actually, looks like six new espers, because they are in the glass tubes, I think it's safe to assume we all know they're espers. Uh, we got Wilmer, Goblin, Cat with Purple Mane, Ponyta, Tall Ass Ghastly, and ruby embedded in your skull. Those are the official names of the of the espers. I'm sure you'll agree with me on that. Let's go ahead and push the button here. I mean, what else are we gonna do but push the button? 